Video 122 Answers of an Alien from Andromeda Video 122 September 18, 2014 These are answers to many questions accumulated on the same subject. Mitha you said that the souls passed from a recent tsunami had already gone to one of the planets prepared to reincarnate there, yet in another video you mention about these many souls that are waiting to be reincarnated at Limbus or in fourth dimension. How the tsunami victim did got a vacancy to reincarnate so fast. See my friend, when there are situations of major natural disasters or acts of war in which populations are decimated claiming incarnations of innocent victims, the fourth dimension has a level of first aid to receive this mass of disembodied. They will be transferred to the zero-level colonies, and are born without realizing what had happened, all controlled by blue beings. It's like they got there in deep sleep and would already be sent to a new reincarnation to complement the cycle stopped. This system works accurately since the universe in which we were was created. So do not worry about the routines after death, worry yes on having the best possible level of light. To pass through these moments and be transferred into a colony level 1, here on earth or on another planet. Mithya, how can we analyze distances for your point of view? Is there any correlation between our measurement systems and those used by other cultures? As I quickly mentioned earlier in other conversations, I will detail a little more the information. The measurement systems used by civilizations from level 1 is what you call decimal and not the measures devised by thy cultures through the ages as thumbs, feet, fathoms, miles, leagues, Fahrenheit, gallon, etc. that are incompatible with each other. The unity that is used by galactic communities as a lower commercial unit is equivalent to the wavelength of ultraviolet light in open space, measuring approximate 100 units of your called angstrom unit. According to your decimal system, 100 angstroms represent 0.000001 centimeters. For comparison, your meter is equivalent to 100 million of that wavelength. Thereafter, all other measures are resulting names of the quantities of units of wavelengths contained in them such as your millimeters, centimeters, meters, kilometer, etc. Measures such as volume, area, distance, velocity, are a direct result of that decimal system whose unit is equivalent anywhere in the universe, and accepted by any society of the system. Mythi Many comment that the aliens are interested in our metals like gold and silver, is there any truth to that? See, minerals such as gold and silver are common in the universe. The metal that regulates your monetary system is the gold so you consider it precious. There are many gold deposits on your planet, and some are simply not being exploited. Not to diminish the market value of this metal between your societies. Gold abounds in many uninhabited planets. And is part of many artifacts that other societies produce. Gold is found so pure it is soft, you could chew a nugget without hurting teeth. In some cases it is almost like the liquid metal mercury and these two metals combine chemically and atomically very well. Mercury is the closest brother of gold, with a difference of a single particle in its atoms. And curiously mercury is one of the most used elements in molecular programming. As it can be transformed into an endless number of artifacts, extremely thin plates, etc. And win great hardness after its molecules being instructed to do so. The mercury is a basic metal for beginners in training courses on molecular manipulation. 
Finally you can conclude that there is no need for any society wanting to steal your gold. It exists in large quantities on planets and asteroids. Where nobody will claim ownership and can be taken in quantities as needed with easy. And that extends to all other metals and mineral elements. With the time you friends will check that mining is a major activity in galaxies. All industrially advanced cultures have their departments to obtain raw materials. And their transport fleets specifically for this purpose. Not all planets resources are inexhaustible. So you will also have your mining fleet one day for sure. Mythic, on the next 24th we are going to have 30 days of prediction you made about changes. In the solar system in your last communication, which can still be expected since nothing special happened. So much is happening, is that you are not being reported on these highly detectable changes. The atmosphere of Venus is changing completely. Some declensions of rotational axes have been viewed by your instruments. I hoped your amateur astronomers to give information about these events. But it seems that some are still reluctant to say anything. Either way you will know the significant orbital and physical changes in the solar system planets. Including the TOS. If I can, I'll try to better detail the data for you without that complicates me. If your own countrymen do not. Just as a warning, the PTB has used atmospheric handling on a large scale lately. Despite the tectonic movement is generating cracks and volcanism in the crust of the planet. They are trying to derail the regions for the people to focus on areas where it will be easier. To control the actions scheduled for the planned population reduction. They will try to round up the people to specific locations and some measures. They are taking aim to cripple life in many regions starting the exodus to locations predetermined by them. It's easier to catch the fish in a large school than scattered across the sea. Be on your guard about mass vaccinations, there is no a real epidemic but it can be created by the schedule running. The two factions who wish to maintain control of the planet in this new stage planned are reaching a time limit to try to outdo one another. Asian components are better prepared to take control. They have created a system of bombardment with frequency harp type that forms a barrier. Like a force field in their territories to block radar, input control signals on missiles and to block a possible EMP attack. Looks like things are coming into a final border between the two factions. Were detected in your space station possible assemblies of weapons of concentration of energy, which should have been transferred disassembled into smaller pieces. If that is confirmed the station will be permanently disabled by Pleiadians. Be aware of the facts. Be well all of you.